I'm very grateful and honored to know Woo! all of you. And I love you all for many, many reasons. They have and I'm song. very just filled with so much emotion and I'm ready to just go out there and give it my all. I know all of you are going to do the same thing. Should I just take it from the top? Yes, please. Okay. Um, fuck. I'm Josh Arbor, singer, songwriter, guitarist for Creating Monsters, and this is why I write. Watch as our hearts unfold as we stand before our unmarked graves. I found myself in a music store and this gentleman walks in and hears me playing and, and he's like, I'm the general manager over at the Lighthouse Cafe in Hermosa Beach. Um, I'd love to book you for a show. Got connected with St. Rock um, in Hermosa as well and was asked to put together a, a weekly showcase and that's how Sound Collective, um, which is essentially just kind of a an artist run showcase. We've managed to go from St. Rock to the Hotel Cafe in Hollywood and we have a big sort of four year celebration at the Troubadour on July 27th and we'll be performing that night with uh, this new project that I've been working on uh, called Creating Monsters. I, I just put it into the chill. I rerouted it. Alright guys, this is going to be fun. So this should be Max. Max, you want I this? Why don't you analyze? Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's been a while since I've heard that. Uh, so you're, yeah, so you're. Oh, I put the cable there. Right here. Right here. I'm at a place in my life where I'm, I am thoroughly invested and proud of because I think it's something that I've always wanted to do but never really knew how to express it. I remember being very deep between a breast button close sweet caress been inspired by artists like Damien Rice to Tom Waits um, to even the more jazz artists of, of Billie Holiday and Louis Armstrong and Nina Simone and I was I always wanted to still stay true to that element of that sort of romantic time in music. Fans or friends of ours who've heard of the music in the past will be ever so surprised. <laughs> it was essentially just the three of us together in a rehearsal space and we were knocking out like these ideas just kind of bouncing off one another. I did have some heavy influences of like punk to uh, a little heavier aggressive rock but I knew I wanted to sort of balance it with the classical element but still wanting to remain true to the authenticity of, of the lyrics that sort of hit you and you you can sort of interpret them in your own way and that's what makes it so special and with this first EP will be kind of a really nice introduction to where we're going. I think meeting all of these amazing musicians have really helped to to better capture what it was that I was wanting to chase. It all boils down to songwriting.
you guys got your own vibes. Oh, I just separate, I guess, and then run me through that. Okay. Does that work for you, or is it still going to pan and be weird? No. Okay. It won't be weird. Greg Shinosi. It's because <laughs> Taylor, Taylor's like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I don't give a shit. He's like, I'm just fucking do that shit. Oh, that Let me get that. Right <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, shit. It's just a little more vocal, and then both of these guys, if I could get guitars in my wedge, that'd be great. Yeah. 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 I'm very grateful and honored to know Woo! all of you, and I love you all for many, many reasons. They have and I'm fun. very just filled with so much emotion, and I'm ready to just go out there and do well. I know all of you are going to do the same thing. Time will tell me. Time will tell me. chasing is the legacy of songwriting and more so just just being genuine and being honest about what you're writing I think it's about chasing chasing something that's gonna live long after you're dead at the end of the world Never loved you more, loved you more. At the end of the world, 